action. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you still wrong. Is that what you want, Jake? Exactly. Okay, and action. <laughs> 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 Billy Morrison? Barb Shack. Shut the fuck up! Holy shit! How are you? I'm great! Back up a second, what are you doing oh, here? Oh, it's started. We started writing this movie together. It was the first thing that we had ever written together. We were kind of at the point where we were like, how are we going to turn this script into a movie? And since Jake and I both come from a theater background, we had readings. Sweeping Christmas music plays over shots of a snow-covered Manhattan. Gorgeous shots of skyscrapers, benches covered in the snow, and the twinkling lights of Fifth Avenue. Then they, it is roiling up here. I think the thermostat's broken. I keep moving the thing, nothing's happening. Are you sure it's not on fan? No, I'm not. <laughs> Kate and Mona, you'll be over here behind the book stacks, and Barb, you'll be studying right here. Oh, so I'm the one studying? <laughs> Just kidding, I figured I'd do a sense of self. <laughs> <laughs> The movie. person that really made this movie from a dream into reality is our incredible producer, Sarad Balducci. And she's the one that brought all of our below the line people onto our crew. And that's when the movie really started to take shape and we saw this thing actually happening. I think it would be fun to just make this a fun movie. Like, in everything that we can think of and do. I just want to say how excited I am. You literally could have been speaking Egyptian and I would have not gotten half <laughs> the things you said. But uh, I can't believe we're making a movie. Once we had locked in our crew heads and started pre-production, we had to do a proper location scout. The whole crew was traveling to Westchester, to Scarsdale, to Brooklyn to kind of scout out all these locations and shot list things and see where, which way we wanted to shoot everything. Driving trucks up there, making tons of noise. So that's just a huge, it's never gonna fly. If we shoot the whole kitchen scene, we're gonna do day for night. We have four hours to shoot the, the, the dining room scene. designer Ryan Park actually came to my apartment and we tried to put together what Barb's looks were going to be. This was the first thing that we had actually ever worked with him on as a costume designer and he is just an absolute pro. Isn't this is a very good version of her thinking this is not bad. I love this shirt tucked out. Like this is so not cool. It's so sad. It's so sad. It is really sad. Is it like too like unruly? It's just going to be like a nightmare for like filming. This is so fun. I want to make movies every day. I think for Maggie, yeah, these are like these like great like with her real boots. Oh my god, so... we need to do that. <laughs> this is gonna be the I Love Lucy. We'll fit it really nicely, and then this goes. <laughs> <laughs> the day that it really hit me that we were really making a movie was the day that we auditioned all of the little boys to play Sass's nephew character Lucas. We were literally sitting behind a table as boy after boy, like three and four year old boys would come in and read our lines, memorize, because you know, three year olds can't read really off the paper. And it was so hard to have to choose one. But then we met Sawyer Shipman who ended up getting the role. I mean, if you look at him now on IMDb, so his famous. star meter is like way higher than any of ours. Just a few more minutes, baby. Mom's gonna get you some soup. I don't want soup. What do you want? I want a baby. <laughs> this is so good. With that Scarsdale sign, that little house. Yeah. We were about a week out from actually day one of shooting, and that last week was jam-packed with pre-production stuff. We are <laughs> doing our tech scout today, giving you 15 passenger van realness. We just came from Flywheel, now we're going to Sasha's. And it's uh, all happening. That's for the three people that will get that reference. You're probably all wondering how Barb's sexy look came to be and how we came upon that. And it was none other than our incredible hair designer, Jeff Chastain, who gave Barb those incredibly mousy highlights. Here we are, Barb's new look for the movie. Oh. I'm a blonde for the summer. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, this is our last day of pre-production before we start shooting. We're now here at our camera test, picking up all of our gear. They're setting up the camera, getting all of our lenses in place. We're getting our makeup done. After this, we're heading to our huge all department head production meeting at Broadway Video, where we're gonna go through the entire script and schedule and the whole production plan for the next three weeks. And this is literally it. This is our last day before we are on set shooting. I cannot believe that we are here. I mean, like, I'm in mean, second, second, like, I don't even know what that is <laughs> until, like, this week, you know? Me and Sass are both so happy, so I'm just hoping that it's gonna continue and rub on front of everybody in the next three weeks. How's it going? It's too crazy. What do you mean? How's it going? I'm oh, sorry, my makeup's getting down. Ah, the kitchen always brings back such funny memories. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> okay. Still to be dragged down, Barbara Schwartz for comment. You can't turn the corner without standing. Black jeans! I think every movie that we ever make from now on has to have flashback versions of adult people because it is literally the most fun thing ever. Now we're gonna be sleeping gently like a princess and now we're waking up. Whoa. And now we're gonna smoke a cigarette, your standard D, put the cigarette out, cough. Morgan, who I usually am, hanging out at the house with her and watching her do gymnastics and like be a kid and now she's on our film set. <laughs> And Colin, I mean, that kid is a star. They were both champs. Get the bags, don't you wanna? Meet me at the mall now. You can turn around, don't you wanna? Hang out every day. Don't you wanna give that boy a call now? Don't you wanna? Don't, don't you wanna? And again, bravo <laughs> Ryan Park and Julia Rosendale from our costume crew for providing that purple unitard. Are you kidding? It's amazing, it's in my apartment still. You thought you had me that day in the desert, but really, I had you. <laughs> Taxi! We were lucky enough to have our friend Ana Noguera. She makes me laugh on set more than anybody, and I feel like from now on, like I have to exclusively plan a extra half hour for any scene that Ana is in because we literally just break and start laughing <laughs> at all times. But Miss Oh, sorry, we're just yelling. Both of us just yelling. Okay, rehearsal's up, rehearsal's up! I had never worked with a proper assistant director before on anything, and now after working with Nico, like, I, I never knew how essential an assistant director is. I could have never done any of this without him. I have to be honest with you, I think we probably took 10 years off his life. Here we are. Hey, you people. I'm Sass Goldberg, and we're day two. Law office. Come on. Come with belly dance. And now it's the scene where Barb and Billy reunite. It's just full circle. You know, I've known Sass since she was like 12, and Jake since he was 18. I've known Jake's like full career. I just remember like sitting on Jake's bed. Sure. Talking about this idea of like making a webisode that had like songs in it. Finished so long ago. It would be a lot easier to dress this if they weren't making a movie over there. So this is the first shot of the entire movie. This is the Christmas party scene. This is our big extra heavy day. This is super fun. This is setting up how drab Brown Associates is. Barb hates her life. <laughs> The section that probably changed the most was the opening sequence, the Christmas oh, party. Oh, yeah, rich! Just get those moves in there! Oh, 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 you feel it, yeah? We had originally started it with this kind of electric slide type dance number called Electricity. Very that, electric slide. Uh, that our friend Raina White sang the vocals on and that our music extraordinaire, Adam Walker, who both scored the film, music supervised the film, did literally every single, he did 20 music jobs in one. And he wrote the song Electricity, which really got us. Yes, Haley, looking hot. 
it was kind of like we don't need the electric slide and the karaoke song. The karaoke song won out in the end. We had the pleasure of working with so many of our close friends and I actually got to work with my best friend from childhood, Anthony Fazio, who I've known since he was 11 years old and has been making me laugh since I was 11 and unfortunately a lot of his scene had to be cut. Give me a beat. Come on. A beat? Yeah, um, let's do it. Boom, boom, chew. Okay, that's no. not a beat. Okay. A little more, there you go. Yo, yo. Chillin' on the west side, serving Spanish copa dough with my new bitch Barbara, and I'm really hoping you win us two ticks to the circus. I know you're wearing panties, but don't get them in a twist. All right, you know what? That wasn't my best work. I so. know, that was so good. You're so funny. <laughs> no, stop. I was gonna eat those. <laughs> Yeah. Are you gonna come back soon? We're about to start the Chinese auction. Oh, uh, that's okay. I, I didn't sign up. Are you sure about that? I'm giving me two backstage passes to the Big Apple Circus. Oh, I don't know if you could pass that one up, Barb. Okay, I'll be out in a second. You too. We're running low on the moose. Our villain of the film, if you will, not that we had a true villain, was played by Vanessa Ray. So did you do something different with your hair? Guilty. Yeah, I like it. That's good. Do you play the guitar? Nah. You should, I think you'd be really good. Oh, hey, Barb. You know, our movie is about improv, so we really encourage improvising on the set. And I mean, Hannibal could just kind of throw shit out there that, you know, obviously we had to put in the film because, you know, he's Hannibal. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 she kills me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm into that sort of thing. That's why I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really a professional, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a picture up for Vanessa! Oh, thank you! Yay. We did it! No more Haley! So because my character was a ballerina in the movie, I had a body double uh, dancer with ABT, American Ballet Theater in New York, who could actually do all the ballet moves. Um, Who's a ballerina? Who's a ballerina? Uh, ballerina? I don't know. He's a ballet dancer. Yeah, he's pretty good. What are you going to be playing? We're going to be playing, be playing some chosen? So Funny Petit Allegro. Oh. Also some So Funny Adagio. Oh. We have insider information. Is this is Danny. Video? You know Hello. who Danny is. Oh yes. People at home. Star of the batteries down. That's right. Ready for her close up. Oh. There are so many people that obviously go into making a movie, the final product that you see today. Our DP, Jan, my God, what would we have done with that? He felt like an extension of me, you know what I mean? He was so on the same wavelength, every single thing that I wanted, all the time. This movie would not exist without him. I mean, everything that you see is because of Jan. And arms up. Hi, I'm Maggie. Oh my God, those boobs. So wait until the arms are up to notice the boobs. Got it. So ready? And arms up. And what? And Dave. And Gavin. We are here, day four, at the Humor School. Cheers, you guys. Yes, it. Yes, it. My character, Barb, goes through improv class throughout the entire course of the film, and there are several different improv scenes. But what you don't know is that we shot all of those improv scenes on one day. So literally the entire cast changed our outfit every 30 minutes and just played improv games. So it was a 15-hour improv class that we filmed. We've got two of our improv students, Tice, played by John Hill. And Corey, Andrew Keenan Bolger. We're Googling ourselves. <laughs> we are, that is not a lie. We're talking about Google image search. We We're must be joking. The ugly pictures that come up. <laughs> Name your seven favorite sports teams. One. Yankees. The Yankees. 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 Why are we? we we're not. Sports Cowboys. Cowboys. Sports team. Uh, hockey. Three, two, one, something. Three, two, one, something. Three, two, one, Jewish. Three, two, one, Pagoda. Three, two, one, Pagoda. Oh. Well, 
it is a beautiful day out here. It's a fun ride. Just go. Do you need to work on things? Um, no, I think we're good. Bounce that guy out. They did bounce yeah. out, but that's got good control. Maggie, your seven favorite Britney Spears songs. Uh, top ten. One, Three, two, two. Um, baby, baby, one more time. Three, uh, 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 stop you. Four, uh, 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 you can be a girl, not a woman. Five. Uh, 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 every last, every day, every single day. Six. six. I just want people to think I'm an I just want people to think I'm smart. <laughs> Flywheel scene. Oh, I can't believe this is actually happening. We're actually here. The Cures Happen soundtrack. Our sexy girls right. and guys. Eskimo, you with me? Eskimo, finish. Finish strong. Who's brave? Come on, it's gonna be fun. You get to go. My virginity last night. It was pretty rich. Quick look at the other people laughing around. Like this is my home. And I have uh, 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 a little, a little less. <laughs> do we get it? You just gave me a whole speech about growing a pair. Um, you want to do one more? I'm good. Yeah? Unless you're not good. I think you're great. Day one of the Schwartz home yeah, in Scarsdale, and I would love to introduce you to this wonderful actor who's playing my father, Ira, David Wall. May the Schwartz be with you. You found my secret hiding spot. It's a good one. You know, I always wanted to put a treehouse back here, but your mother thought that the, the yard had too much of a slope. And then you guys got older, and I know you wouldn't be interested anymore. Now I got the two grandsons. They would love it. I could still do it. It's never too late, right? Guess so. You bet you took us. You guess so. It's never too late. Do you remember that that boy Josh from summer camp? Mom, I really have to go. All right. Linda, where do we keep the clean washcloth? In the closet on the hamper. Though I checked for the, I checked the hamper. Wait, aren't you guys in the same house? Yes, but your father put a phone in the bathroom. Now he thinks it's an intercom. Oh, hello, doll face. Linda, there are no washcloths to be found anywhere. Dad, there, nobody uses washcloths anymore. That was for like Abe Lincoln. Four score and seven years ago. Cut. Okay, we cut. Margaret Collin played my mother, Linda, in the movie, and the second I met Margaret, I felt like we immediately had this maternal daughter connection because I really felt like she cared about me, and we knew each other for like two minutes, and all of a sudden she was playing my mom and kissing my head and playing with my hair, and it felt so normal. Mommy's too skinny. You really need to see my colorist. The character of Lisa, Sass's sister. From the beginning, I had always had a very clear vision in my head of what I kind of saw this character to be. And I had seen Katherine Waterston in The Bachelorette off-Broadway. Her performance really stuck with me. And as soon as casting mentioned Katherine Waterston as an option, I was kind of like, we have to get her, we have to make this happen. That's a picture up on Katherine, you guys. So that's a picture up on Katherine. Are you all sitting on that? Sitting on it was so anticlimactic. You didn't know you were done. Yeah. Craig was a really important role in the film because it had to kind of represent everything that Barb wasn't, and he was really a dick. Lisa will make his dick look bigger. James Wolf is an incredible actor, and we were blessed to have him, but he also happens to be my closest friend from college, so I was like, you gotta do this for me. And when Jimmy showed up on James, when James showed up on the set, it was truly, I can't believe he was playing my brother, and like, 
10 years ago, we were in clown class together at the <laughs> University of Michigan. I'm gonna say, definitely not, thanks. And right after I say it, you're gonna look up to mommy and say the same thing. You're gonna say, definitely not, thanks, okay? Definitely not, thanks. Definitely not, thanks. The Papa character was played by David Stepkin, who was 96 years young, and just... Comedy gold. Comedy genius. I mean, he, there was a minute there where we were like, I don't know if he's really getting this. And let me tell you, he got it all. He was on board, he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> This is our last family day. I can't believe it. We have the amazing Julie Halston and Brian Kerwin here joining us. How are you today? I'm honestly kind of brilliant. Yeah. Anytime I'm getting hair and makeup done and I don't have to do it and look at these two like they did a great job. You look fabulous. Uh, yeah, I look good, right? I love it. Try shoving the milk in. Try. Here we go. I remember you drinking black coffee. I don't remember. You don't remember a lot of things, Papa. I know. Thank you for all that corn. Such an unexpected gesture. Oh, come on. You wouldn't believe how many husks are right near us at the market. Everywhere you look, corn, corn, corn. It's a very underused vegetable. You know, people think of it as just a summer food, but really, you can eat it all year round. Mm. It's so sweet. That's a picture wrap on Julian Bryan. Thank you. Marcia DeBonis plays a casting director in the film when Barb goes for a casting call for a Chocoholics commercial. Uh, 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 I think that audition scene with those three girls is probably the, the scene that makes me laugh now watching the film. I've seen it 27 million times, but I feel like every time I see that audition scene, it really still gets me. of comedy and it was important to infuse that into the movie so what we tried to do was show that Barb, my character, sees the world through comedy colored lenses if you will and so we had all these comedy cutaways. A lot of them ended up in the film, unfortunately a lot of them didn't. Jeez. Get home safe. Thanks. I'll try not to get raped on the train. Okay. So you guys, we hit our 100th roll of film. This is apparently a tradition. This is my first film, my 100th roll of my first film. I cannot believe we are all in this fucking sweaty ass, dank apartment with like fucking mouse traps like on the floor. And then we're all troopers. It's fucking 11 o'clock at night that we've gone through 14 days of this. I can't believe I'm not gonna see all of your faces every day. Mm. Uh, um, but this movie is like, you know, every single thing that's happening on the camera is exactly what was in our head when we wrote it and beyond that. And I just really, really, really thank you all so much for um, being a part of it. And we're going to fucking rock out this last night and our last day tomorrow. This is our last day on set to the first setup for day 15. Sass is in her luxurious blouse and bell bottoms. Looking like a crazy person. The most New York moment that we had, we were shooting the scene with uh, Sass with the full clown makeup with the balloons on 6th Avenue in 
85 degree heat or something insane with like a full cake of makeup on her. And we're like in between takes or something and I look over to the street and who do I see but Bill Cunningham. Taking pictures of us. And that was just kind of like, I was like, oh my God, you're Bill Cunningham. And I kind of like went over and introduced myself and I think as soon as I did that, we kind of like scared him away and he kind of left. But we are still looking for those photos and I'm trying to get in touch with him. So if anybody's watching this, you know Bill. Uh, this is our martini oh, shot. I know, it's this, you guys have put up this movie and now it's, this wow. is it. Or this is not the it. Last but. shot. Um, when we started writing it, we did not think all these people would be here. Look at this crew. What cute crew we lost. This is our last shot. For reals? For reals. Okay. Cut. It's a picture of us. How does it feel, girls? Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Just proud of us. Thanks. 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 As stressful and difficult as filming was, I wouldn't have changed one moment. And even though we were done, we had to keep reminding ourselves that nobody had seen it yet. We premiered at the Seattle International Film Festival. And of course, Sass is so incredibly anxious. I had a real she was literally death. dying. She was like, oh my god. And the thing that kind of calms us down before a situation where we're kind of stressed is we sing show tunes together. Bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. So on the drive bum, to bum, the premiere bum, in Seattle, we sang um, some dog fight. I decided. Don't know why I decided to come. I was so nervous that the only people in the audience were gonna be the cast and crew members that flew to Seattle for the premiere. And I remember seeing the line and I was like, you, just, you must be joking. And they were like, oh yeah. And I was like, what? I love this movie, it made me laugh. And it marks the arrival of a witty and insightful um, writer, director, team, and star duo. That's Goldberg and Jake Wilson. Yay! It's bigger, I don't hold that, it's great. You can plan, and you can bet. Yeah, I know. And this is our movie poster photo shoot day. We are here at Peter Hill getting our face shots. Oh, no. Jake and I have spent so much time together and worked together so well that we literally finish each other's sentences, and sometimes not always in the nicest way. This or should I wear navy? Navy, not bad. It's the first thing we ever wrote together, it's the first movie we ever starred in, there are so many firsts happening. Oh, I love that. And now it's done, it's really done. The movie is shot, the movie is edited, the movie has premiered, and now we get to share it with all of you. Enjoy.